Oh, it's time. Time to get radical. Your discretion is advised. Welcome to Radical Comment of the Week for October 18th through October 24th, 2021. These are the very best comments from that time period. Starting out with the honorable mentions, we got Kintsune Metal, Cause underscore Tech, and Brady. The bronze medal is going to come to us from the Winged Avenger. Ben Simmons. Who does he think he is? Charles Barkley? This guy is from Australia. And moreover, I'm noticing that not one of the players on this so-called Philadelphia team is even from Pennsylvania, let alone Philadelphia. I'm from the Philly area, and I wonder why I should be a fan of the Sixers when these guys weren't born anywhere near there. This opinion of mine might sound xenophobic, but in the 90s, in Europe at least, there was a limit of three foreign players that a team could have. Would it be cool if the Golden State Warriors were actually from the Golden State? Last summer I watched the Soccer Euro Cup Final, a huge event in London between England and Italy. Guess where the players on the England team were from? Yeah. England. And the players on the Italy team were all from, you guessed it, Italy. That not only makes rational sense, it's actually really cool. Not only are none of the Philadelphia 76ers from the state of Pennsylvania, but we have two Australians, one Nigerian and one Cameroonian. Wouldn't it be nice if Australia, Nigeria, and Cameroon developed their own basketball leagues with the great players they have? I recently watched a basketball game featuring a Pennsylvania player Billy Barron, and he plays in Russia for St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. I thought she was like making a joke like for, for St. Pete's, for Pete's sake. That guy could not miss a three-pointer, by the way. The 76ers could use him. Well, Ben Simmons can't make a three-pointer, so they definitely probably could use him. I'm talking about Ben Simmons from like last year. He's not playing. And by the way, they've started correctly refining Ben Simmons, which is a good thing. You know, if you don't show up for work you don't show up to play then you should get fined you know uh so yeah that's an interesting idea i wonder how that would would be you know to actually have all the states everybody you know there'd be a limit maybe of you know two or three players that can be from uh, that could be born from outside of your state because you know since you live in philly I would think, well, okay, the Winged Avenger are going to root for the, the local home team. But you're right. If you got Australians and um, Nigerians and Cameroonian, which is a fun word to say, if you got all these people from different places on your team, you know, then it's not really, it's not really the home team, I would say, you know. Uh, but yeah, what if, what if we did that? That'd be interesting, you know, kind of limiting that. Uh, it would definitely... It would make more sense in a way. So I see what you mean. But then, you know, trades would not be as fluid and open where, you know, one year somebody trades, uh, a team trades half their players away. I don't know. It might make it less interesting. But, you know, locally it would make sense. You know, so go to your local team and just bring that up to a fan. You know, that would be interesting to get responses. Everyone's cheering and, and you're like, you know, hey, hey, wait a second. Should we be cheering the other team? Three of those people, you know, I, I know their families. Should we be cheering for the opposite team? Thank you, Winged Avenger. The silver medal is going to come to us from Art Bell. Review Tech Rich is a cucumber gobbling catch to most women. What he lacks in looks and body shape, he makes up for in providing power. With his great radio voice and energetic YouTube phrasing, he has people toss super chats for a full hour every live stream. He gets the clicks and sponsorships. He might make one to three million bucks. He probably makes ten times whatever his social blade claims. Sponsors and super chats are huge. He is just a mere YouTuber, unknown if you ever go to the retro game area of the website. Since he has kids, he can now only date and never marry. But let's get to the giants in culture, not just YouTube celebs. The big, big bags of wind, as married with kids, Kevin Smith says... All seem to marry. The super winners know how to mate. Select. Male Oprah Winfrey, Joe Rogaine, Adam Carolla, number one podcast in the world, Kevin Smith, pop culture madman, all married once. Adam was asked why do that versus enjoying the SEX from fans 
gold seeking women being famous he said you want kids you want them cared for you need a woman for that to marry might have been submitting to her demand or family demands i suppose resist reproducing leave it to your brother sisters etc that is a real answer versus the unsafe pick of a woman and hoping for longevity so much reward for divorcing a man in 2021 no fault is not going anywhere well i was taken aback by the first thing you said that review tech usa was a catch to most women okay are we still talking about the same guy the the 300 pound bald guy you know like that guy mm -hmm. uh terrible personality you know from what we've witnessed that guy because he has money i suppose mm -hmm. so you mean a catch like something a woman would want i mean rich looks like you would probably catch something from him but i get it uh, a lot of money you know now the thing is if you are in a situation where you have providing power and you have a lot of money uh, that is very appealing to females it is but you say like women okay what are we talking like women maybe kind of up there at age you know not young women because see young women they would not go for rich you know you know 20s or whatever maybe, maybe early 30s i don't think they would go for someone like rich because they would be you know gold digging for someone maybe that is not huge is a word you say um, now he says he's his voice, energetic and everything, and people give him a lot of money, super chats, right? Well, people give super chat money to just about anybody if you're big enough, you know, because, and he's definitely big enough, right? You know, you follow the formula on YouTube, you get big, you know, it's really not, I don't know. Second part of your comment, you're talking about, you know, why all these people, the super winners, the very rich and successful people, they marry. It's because, you know, kids. And they say, well, you need somebody to take care of your kids. Somebody you can trust. The thing is, like, you know, you'll have all these gold diggers that come in if you have the gold. And at the back of your mind, you're thinking, can I really trust this person? You know? Can I really, really trust this person? Can I trust this person around my kids? So, you know, having kids pretty much, like, turns everything on its ear, you know, when it comes to relationships now, if you're a single man, if you're a single rich celebrity, you know, if you are, I would maybe look at uh, George Clooney, then yeah, you could date and date and date. I don't know if he has kids. I'm guessing maybe, maybe he doesn't. Let's just say that it's a celebrity that doesn't have kids. Then yeah, I don't see why you just, you know, constantly, um, you know, date if that's what you want. But you might want a relationship, which is perfectly fine if you find that perfect somebody i don't know it just comes down to preference i would suppose but i definitely understand why a lot of those people they still like the stability of you know being married if they have kids you know? thank you art bell now we get on to the gold metal comet which comes to us from rusty shackleford honestly i am very tired of all these reports and rumors by bloomberg and youtubers eating up these reports and rumors. How many years has it been since Bloomberg started reporting and YouTubers started rumors on this 4K Switch? What were the end results of these reports and rumors? Switch Lite. A refreshed Nintendo Switch with a better, better, better battery life and the Switch OLED model. It's getting old and I find it to be very pathetic that people keep believing these idiots. It's even worse that some will think that at some point they will be right. Sure, it's possible that eventually Nintendo may release a piece of hardware that is capable of 4K resolution, but the way these reports and rumors are handled is pure stupidity. Think of it this way. If I keep telling you that we're going to arrive at our destination in an hour every hour during a 20-hour flight, eventually I'm going to be right. Even though I'm going to be right at some point, people are going to find it annoying and stupid. That's how Bloomberg has been handling these reports. Now, I do believe Nintendo is working on the next piece of gaming hardware. Like he said, that's what these companies do. Do I think it will be capable of 4K? Doubt it, unless it's a Switch that is home-based and is strictly connected to a TV and outlet as well as not being able to Switch at all. Look at the Switch Lite if you think that's a bizarre idea or a new generation console. 
Regardless, people need to drop it already. Nintendo is doing their own thing, and they have been for years, so people really need to move on from this idea that Nintendo needs to catch up with Microsoft and Sony. Yeah, Bloomberg is uh, not... I mean, they have been wrong on several things, and they have these reports. And what happens is, when there's one of these reports, in quotations, that drops, everyone eats it up. It is just food for a lot of these YouTube outlets, you know, uh, supposedly professional YouTube outlets, because they can't resist it. They cannot resist it, you know? I mean, reporting on actual gaming news, reporting on actual sports news, reporting on things that actually happen and definitely, definitely will happen, that's one thing. But running with something like Nintendo secretly working on a 4K console and then that, that be that happens very often to where, you know, people want follow-ups. And then it comes to the edge of actually basically lying if you're going to just read some article somewhere and then report on it. You know, then shouldn't you be held responsible, you know, if people see it and they're like, you know what, that was the OLED switch. That's what that was. That was not 4K. There was nothing 4K about it. But then you have these you know, pro Nintendo channels or lots of different channels. And then people ask them about it and it's just crickets. You know, you go to these channels and you say, whoa, 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 you guaranteed a 4K switch. You know, what? You guaranteed it. And then they got nothing to say. You know, it's kind of like uh, all these channels that reported uh, the GameStop was going out of business. GameStop, you know, it's not going to be not going to be that long. GameStop's going down. Game, yo, no way. You can't go to a GameStop. Yeah, 2017, 2018, and 2019 called, you know, from YouTube, probably before that, about these reports that GameStop was going out of business. Well, guess what? I went to a GameStop a couple days ago, and uh, I didn't really appreciate the experience. Like, it was okay. I mean, it's not bad. I looked at some t-shirts. But I said to myself, you know what? I don't think GameStop's probably going away anytime soon. I just had that feeling, you know, regardless of what these YouTubers will report and tell you, you know. Uh, also, I tried to take back a brand new game I just bought, and uh, they offered me a pack of gum and uh, a voucher for some future Amico games. That didn't work out. It's okay. It's okay. I tried something. It didn't work out, Rusty. I tried something. But let's get to the end of your comment when I talk about you brought up that uh, Nintendo is doing their own thing, and they have been for years, so people really need to move on from this idea that Nintendo needs to catch up with Microsoft and Sony. Yeah, they don't need to catch up with Microsoft and Sony in terms of sales. I think they're selling collectively more than the other consoles i don't i don't keep up with the sales figures but they're doing fine in sales they're selling a lot of consoles there's people that will just buy anything nintendo drops like anything even turds if they drop like a turd of a game or a console people will line up because it's got the mario and the zeldies they're going to be fine because they got the mario and the zeldies 4K? They don't need 4K. They don't need 4K. And they're sitting pretty. They're like, you know what? We don't need to put a lot of money into the tech because people will gobble it up. You know? 4K Switch? No, we'll just give it an OLED screen. It'll be fine. They'll buy it again. They'll buy it all. We're Nintendo. You know? This is the same company that would repackage the Game Boy in the 90s a thousand times and, you know, they wouldn't even add a color to it. Or lights. Or that was a big deal. Like, hey, you know what? We're going to release the same Game Boy a little bit smaller. And we're going to put it with a backlight. And, ooh, ah, ooh, backlight. And then a year later, guess what? Here's the same Nintendo Game Boy, but it's in 8-bit color. Whoa! 8-bit color, my goodness! You know? But this is Nintendo. They're going to do what they're going to do. They're going to do their own thing. And like it or not, you know, their own thing makes them a whole ton of money.